How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa, and today we're talking about hot queue naming. Now, uh, this came about, uh, someone had uh, noticed that on a, a video that I had done recently that, you know, the names of my uh, hot queues, they look a little odd and they want to know, you know, how I was able to do it. And um, actually, it's, it's really easy to, to do. I, I didn't do anything special. It's just, uh, but more importantly, I think, is the reason why I did it. Um, now, if you come over here, you can uh, see I have some different ones here. You know what? Let me show you a different one that's better. This one here. Um, I got some different stuff around here. Now, making it do this is really simple. Um, you just go to your POI editor, and then, like, let's say uh, this point right here. Let's, let's make a new one. I'll make a new one uh, right there. And let's put a new point that I can delete later. Okay. Now, um, you put a point in here and um, say, um, let's put a point. Okay. And then um, you can put in there, uh, you know, things after it and uh, before it, uh, anything that you know that you want. And um, so that's all, that's all I do. And uh, like here, I have X's in front of them. Uh, this one here, I have equal signs around it. This one here, I have parentheses. And then here I have three vertical bars, um, and this is it's kind of a uh, an, a hot cue naming um, convention that I kind of came up with just because uh, I'd have s different kinds of points that did different stuff and like for example I started doing it with loops first because with uh, with loops you know even though you know I put in there you know uh, this is an an intro loop which is a loop right at the beginning um, that it's going to start off a loop. Um, when you load up that song and you know you're doing ten different things and you go to hit your loop, it's nice to be able to look at a glance and uh, see these little parentheses, which kind of look like a circle, you know, kind of like a loop, um, and uh, to say, oh, that's a loop, you know. So I can tell at a glance, even if I load this song up and say six months and forget which points are the loops and which points are not, even though I understand it says loop, you know, I can look at a glance and say, oh, you know, that's a loop. Now, um, some of them like. Uh, this one here. Let's go to uh, this one. Now you can see here it's got all these things. Now it's hard to tell, I know, because it, the, the font is kind of small, but those are actually equal signs. And uh, what that is is uh, the equal signs represent to me that not only is that uh, a hot point, but that hot point is on beat. So, um, for example, say like um, uh, this one here. These uh, other ones are not on beat. You know, if I hit those, I have to keep in mind I can't necessarily hit them on the one beat because they're uh, they're they're not going to fire off. Where these, like for example, this one says song start and lyric start. I have two equal signs in front of them, and um, and I don't have a preference over like one equal sign or two equal signs. Just some I put two and some I put one. Um, and that extra equal sign, the equal sign in there, just tells me that that um, that that song is going to start on beat. Okay, um, where one that doesn't, where if I if I have nothing in there, uh, then it means that it's uh, not on beat. Now this one, uh, like this is the intro sample. This is the very beginning of the song where where he's talking, and um, you see I have X's here. The X's to me just signify that that's a load. Uh, there's an action point that there's something going on with that cue point, other than just um, uh, other than just it's a cue point. So and in this case. The reason that the X's are there is because it, it turns on some effects, and that's because uh, I, I did a video with action points where you uh, you load up effects, and that's just to remind me, you know, hey, there's something else going on. Then this cue point, it's going to do something. So, and then here we see the three lines. The three lines to me is a sample. That's something that, you know, I can uh, hit repeatedly, you know, as a hot cue point to, to play with, to try and, you know, either do wordplay or I can scratch on, something like that. So that's a, so that's a sample, typically a, like a vocal sample or something. For example, here it says loot riot, you know, and that's the part in the song where it says, you know, like a looter in a riot. And then the other one is cops, uh, where cops, cops want to snatch my crops. You know, uh, that's that basically that sample right there. And re I chose those two because in those two, uh, the music drops out, and it's just like a little acapella, you know, that you can scratch on or, you know, play with the vocals a little bit. And that's good, for, uh, like if you're using slip mode and you're playing it and you just hit those, those points. So the three lines for me, um, that's just, you know, tells me that it's a, a, a spot I've mark, marked off as a sample. You know, uh, the other one here, like 
bonfire. You know, these are equal signs. I can tell you, you know, just by looking at it, these are all right on beat. And this one where it says bonfire is just a sample. And um, so, so uh, just to go over it real quick, um, if there's nothing in there, it just tells me it's just a cue point, nothing special. If it's a cue point with equal signs around it, it's a cue point that's on beat. If it's a uh, uh, has little parentheses around it, uh, that just tells me it's a loop. Uh, if I have X's around it, it's an action point. And if I have three little lines, that just tells me it's a sample. So uh, that's why that's like that. Um, and uh, if you guys want to adopt it, you're more than welcome to. If you come up with something better, let me know. The reason that I chose these particular ones is because they're very easy to see. Um, I played with some of the other characters, and uh, a lot of them, it's hard to tell. Like the equal sign, you know, it just looks like a fat line in here. So, uh but anyway, uh, that's my personal naming conventions. If you guys uh, want to get a hold of me, you can find me on Twitter at DJ Echo Papa. If you guys like this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, I am Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.